Hey, welcome to this episode of Hitio Gym TV. It's quite a special one. We've got our founders, Per and Frederick, talking about how the actual international story began. Hope you enjoy it. It's a fantastic episode. Hi, my name is Frederick, and I'm sitting here with my good partner, Per, and we are the founders of Hitio Gym. I started uh, practicing Taekwondo when I was a kid and uh, I have a bachelor degree in uh, business uh, and I've been uh, working as a full-time entrepreneur since I was uh, 25 years old. And uh, I also started with uh, Taekwondo uh, at a very young age and uh, I love the sport and uh, I dropped out of school when I was 18, started my own business and uh, together with Fredrik then, we are here uh, doing Hitio International. So, uh, I think we actually met Fredrik when uh, we both did Taekwondo yeah. in the same organization. Yes. So we did a lot of competition and stuff like that. And if I don't remember wrong, that was actually where we met. Yeah. And when we got into business, I remember we uh, sat in some uh, burger joint downtown Oslo, yeah. making out uh, a business plan and checking sites. Yes, that was one of the <laughs> first sites I clicked over yeah. a burger. Yeah. <laughs> we like to make uh, very good plans each year, uh, doing the budget and uh, what we're going to achieve. Uh, each year and on a long-term plan. Uh, in 2016 we were in Miami doing our annual uh, planning and budgeting uh, but that's when we really uh, decided that we were going to go international and uh, scale up uh, in a big time, yeah. big way. And we actually saw that you know the concept we have in Norway worked very well, we had a great su success with it yeah. and at that time also we saw this is not anywhere in Europe. We couldn't see it anywhere. So we no. saw a big gap in the market that we wanted to fill with this martial arts and family concept. That's the reason why we did that. Yeah. So Frederick, taking this concept from Norway out yeah. to the world was a huge thing. One of the first hurdles we had was the name. Yeah. Because we needed a name that could be used all over the world and to be protected. So that's why we came up with Hitio. Yeah, and that works like a charm. Absolutely. Um, and I think also one big hurdle was actually just making the concept um, prepared for yeah. handling international uh, franchisees and business. Yeah. Uh, and, and maybe, I mean, where to start? We just yeah. needed to, to, to go from somewhere yeah. uh, and uh, we didn't really know uh, what we were doing back then. But, uh, but what we do now. And the most important thing was we did was, of course, to make a move. Yes. We didn't know what to do, but we take, took the first step. Yeah. And we went out there and then things started to happen. Yeah. So Taking the first step is uh, always crucial to yeah. moving forward. And I guess the next uh, thing also that we actually succeeded with uh, after a while was getting the right people uh, in the local countries. Yeah. Uh, because that's, uh, uh, that's had a massive uh, impact on, on our expansion. We have achieved uh, a lot of um, uh, important milestones. Uh, and uh, the first one I would mention is uh, hiring a CEO for the company. And uh, the first meeting we had with Mark Chambers was actually you paid in the back uh, seat of a London taxi. Absolutely. And uh, he wanted to join. Yeah. And the next one, maybe uh, also uh, as important, is Simon Hayes. He was taken on board as the CEO for uh, UK yeah. and as a franchise sales expert. Yeah. And no doubt that took the company to the next level. Absolutely. Yeah. And also in that momentum, we had um, Jonas uh, signing a master uh, license for Sweden. Yeah. So we have a very good guy also in uh, Sweden. Yeah. And we started Tavira in yeah. Portugal. That's actually the first international gym that we opened. Yeah. Uh, very important pilot to yeah. make and uh, to check the system. 
and then uh, soon after it was the first opening in the UK with uh, with the Hoxton Club. Yeah, Hoxton opening London. Yes, and now we of course we have a big portfolio of uh, franchisees and sites ready to open uh, during uh, the next half year. Yeah, looking forward to it. So the, the awesome thing now for the pick is yeah. that from 2016 we knew nothing about going international. Nothing. Today we have a professional team yeah. in the UK of pure pro professionals yeah. from the industry. We have an awesome team in Norway. We have a master franchisee in Sweden. Yeah. And all these guys are working on a lot of new projects. Absolutely. And we're pretty sure that we're going to land 15 gyms in the, the UK uh, this, this year, year. Mm. Uh, three in Sweden and five in Norway. Yeah. So it's a total of 23 gyms, so they will definitely not be unemployed for the next uh, couple of months. Definitely. And we also are starting soon the project in Germany. Yes. The process of finding um, managing director for Germany is the first uh, on the list and that's what we're kicking off with now. Yeah. Hey, thank you for watching Hitio Gym Team. We certainly had a lot of fun making this one with our amazing founders, Frederick and Per in Norway. Uh, don't forget, you can watch us on any of our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or of course, on here being YouTube. We shall see you on the next amazing episode very soon.